Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and this amazing video, I'm Aditya. In this video, we will create this fancy progress bar that you're seeing in front of you, which has some fancy background and also some <laughs> progress, which is just a set time interval, but we will see how can we create this fancy progress bar. So without any further ado, let's begin. I also wanted to introduce this course that we have just created, which is Nux3 course, which covers how to create a headless CMS blog and also a weather app and also to use this OpenAI API to get the summary of the weather. So please do check that course. I'll put the link in the description. So we'll be using the same project that we use for calendar UI, tag input and OTP pad. So if you haven't checked those videos, please do check those videos as well. Here we have a progress bar component and what it does it, it just takes progress as a prop. Now here I'm using view 3.3 and there are amazing improvements in view 3.3. One being using defined props and also having a default value into the defined props straight. We will see that in a moment, but let's just see what we have in the HTML part. So here we have the container, which is BG gray 200 H of four. So height just, to, uh, I guess it's around 16 pixel of height and we have complete rounded borders with width full. So this is our, this gray area over here then we have the actual progress so here i have some classes and here i'm dynamically increasing the width based on the progress so in the class we have first keyframe animation so here we have from 0 to 100 we are just changing the background color using tailwind utilities and the thing about this is you can put any background color i've just put some random colors but feel free to put any background colors and here, this is for, this one is for Safari and this one is for normal browsers. Then here we have progress bar or sorry, progress class. Now here I'm giving height of full so that it can fit in the container here. Plus we have full rounded circles and also transition so that it has a, some smooth effect and just ease in, ease out and the duration of transition. Along with that, I have animation for the background. So after every two seconds, it just switches the color. So this is our styling. In the script tag, we have this beautiful new concept, which is defined props where we can destructure the props and define a value. So before it was something like this. Now we don't need to do this. We can simply destructure it here and simply give it a default value. If there is no default value, we also don't need to use with default. And then we save this and see the magic happen. So let's go here. Let's re remove this interval from here and then let's refresh this. And there we have it a smooth progress bar. So that's all in this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you feel this video is worth sharing with your network, please do share with your network. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel. So see you in the next video till the next time. Goodbye.